Hi and welcome to my playhouse and the creepy basement where Dr. Dooms is gonna try and make some hand sanitizer and I don't think the respirator mask here is necessary so um, yeah let's get on to it that might be overdoing it found my um, chemistry suit here and we're gonna try and make some um, hand sanitizer and I'm not recommending this at all I don't know what the fuck I'm doing but I've been wanting to try and make hand sanitizer since this coronavirus thing broke out and uh, well hand sanitizer was impossible to buy anywhere and I thought well you can probably make that yourself and so you can but it turned out that most of the materials to actually be making hand sanitizer was equally hard to get so um Oh, I gave up on the idea, but then it turned out that I actually had access to it. So let's go see what we have. So first of course, I um, I printed out, you can actually see, I printed this out the, um, the 11th of March was when I wanted to do this. It's an instruction in how to make your own hand sanitizing material. And it has some recipes that I'm gonna be trying to follow. Um, there's two different recipes, one where you use household spirits i'm not sure if i'm saying that right and one way you're using isopropyl alcohol um, which i'm also not sure if i'm saying that correct alcohol isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol and some other materials there is um, brindoile which is this hydrochloride prioxide mm. please read that to yourself that thing and then there is something called glycerine yeah I'm, I'm not sure what that does but it's in the recipe and that was really hard to get and then there is just distilled water and then there is the iso this is something i couldn't get this anywhere and where i could get it i could get five liters and it was like almost a hundred dollars and then yeah i told my cousin that and he said mm, you could just get it from us we have 200 liters okay <laughs> so um yeah, and I had already gotten it from him. This is used to clean electronics. And I showed him that I bought some, um, well, these little strips here for cleaning electronics. It's a really smart thing where you, you take one of these out and you break it and it, it wettens the, the tip of it. And that is kind of the same alcohol that is used for that. But the thing that I had the least of is this thing. There's only a squeeze back in the bottle. So I need to figure out how much there is there. And then um, you, you can kind of see the recipe down here. This is for making one liter. I would need a 40 milliliter uh, of, of this that I can't pronounce. I should probably go and Google that. Okay, Google it. And it's called hydrogen peroxide peroxide something like that very closely and I don't have a lot of that so uh, we need to measure how much I actually have and then um, add up the recipe uh, so that I can make as much as possible and uh, this is well to make a liter I need 40 milliliter and this bottle was a hundred milliliter but as I said there's only a squeeze back so we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in this clean glass there and that wasn't a lot so every every drop counts and there was a few drops yet and we're gonna take this syringe which uh, we can see how many milliliters was there so I'm gonna suck that up there and that is all in there get rid of the air good enough so there is like 14 milliliters of that so now I can do the math and figure out how much I can make I have 14 milliliters here and uh, I needed 40 to make one liter so what I've done is I've taken 100 uh, 100 percent and I have divided that by 40 and I've multiplied it by 14 and found out that I have like 35 percent of what I needed to do um, one liter and this means that I will be able to make 350 milliliters of uh, hand sanitizer. Um, that's not a lot, but well, it will do. It will do. So this is my recipe now. 
I need uh, those 14 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 5.25 milliliters of glycerin, 64.75 milliliters of distilled water, a 266 milliliter of isopropyl alcohol. Mm, not sure I'm saying that right. I think this will be good. So um, let's start mixing. The rest should be straightforward. I have some tape here. We're not gonna need any tape, but um, this bottle sits very well there. Um, it's, this is meant for heating up stuff, but well, it has a very nice little thing here. It says that there's 500 milliliters, so that will sit there. Maybe this one. Yeah, this is better. Very important to get the right tape for the job. And it's it's really easy. You mix those three ingredients: the brendoille, um, hybrid. Yeah, that peroxide thing uh, you put that in and you put the glycerin in and you put the distilled water in and then the rest um, is normally up to one liter you just put in uh, isopropyl alcohol alcohol and you're good to go you put it in a dispenser and then you're good to go so yeah that's gonna be um, just putting this in there good and then we need five point two five milliliters and this one is really good for that and I have this thing that will go on top of that and then we put in this glycerin I hope it's fluid and it's it will come out and I don't waste too much and we need 5.25 milliliters of that let's hope there is 5.25 milliliters yeah I think we're good five point Five. Oh, that was six. That was too much. Yes, there we are. That will do it. And there is still a little bit left here. It's the cutest little bottle. It's um, 175 milliliters. So, okay, this goes in the bottle. All of it. It can just. Can it sit there? Yeah, it can. And then that, that can drip off. Then we need the distilled water, which we have right here, and we need 64. That means that I need to I need to fill up the syringe and then four. I think we can we can put that in this glass. It's, it, we're gonna mix it anyway, right? And we'll take this syringe and we'll fill that up. Need to get the air out of there and just fill that up to 60 milliliters. We need 64. There, and I'm pretty sure this one is done. So we'll put that in here. Ah, we need another four. That's gonna be just a little bit. There. Good. Nice. That's three ingredients. That is in here. And now we just need the alcohol. There. And we're gonna get the alcohol, just the syringe. It fits down there, cool. So the rest of it, uh, 266 milliliters. How many times is that? Like four times? I'm just gonna get rid of the air here. I'm sure it doesn't need to be that precise, but well, a little bit of precision is okay. So let's see, 60. Another 60. Now we are at 220. One hundred and twenty, sorry. And we'll be at one hundred and eighty. And with this one we're gonna be at two hundred and forty. Two hundred and forty. And then we need 26 more 
that was close. Yeah, 26 more. There. And we have our hand sanitizer here. It's um, it's not like the stuff that I am used to. It's more like, this is like liquid stuff. I am used to it being more like a gel. Well, well so there should be about 350 milliliters there. Hmm. So this bottle was really good at stirring it up. It's totally liquid. Looks like water. Oh. oh, awesome. New follower on Twitter. Thank you. Um, but I have another bottle and um, well, this is a soap dispenser that uh, well all the soap is gone and I didn't have any empty one so I had to pull the soap over to another bottle to get the dispenser so uh, we're gonna put our hand sanitizer over in this so that it's easy to dis to get it out when you need it and you don't have to mess with it just press the button uh, this will hold half a liter and we only made 350 milliliters so it's not gonna be full but it's gonna be about half a little bit over half there I wonder if you can if you could add flavor to it if you wanted it to smell like nice and stuff or if that would break the purpose of it so. Hand sanitizer, here we go. Yeah, I'm not sure these rubber gloves, if they need cleaning. Hmm. Feels about right, it cools about right, and it evaporates. I'm sure that I could get high on this. Oh. Okay, I wanna try on my hands as well. I guess I could use a little more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it feels about right. I have no idea how well this works and or if it works, but I thought it would be fun to try. And I tried. And uh, I was able to get the label of one side and this other side is absolutely impossible. So yeah, um, one side the label is off. So I should probably put something over that. So I've wanted to make this for half a month. Now I was able to. Couldn't make much because I didn't have all the ingredients. Could go get some more of that hybrid peroxide thing. But um, yeah, that's a quarantine. I should stay at home. I, I have no idea if this is good or bad. So please do your own research. I am just giving you stupid ideas and uh, yeah. Also, I, I kind of know that everybody is recommending using ordinary uh, hand soap and cleaning your hands that way. I just wanted to try this. So uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.